There is a very strong desire for the fund to generate large black businesses. If we can do that, we think that will be a very important, not just symbolic, but an important real step in creating entrepreneurship at that scale. It's very hard to do. So we've kind of set a success factor in 10 years. Can we build 10 significant black businesses, 500 million in revenue or more? There is a, quite a unique opportunity in the SME fund and its ecosystem. If you have a look at the ecosystem, you will see earlier, you've got the fund in the middle, you'll see a bit later, and three pillars, venture capital, growth, and impact, and underneath them, a range of fund managers. So that's kind of the obvious structure we've created. But one of the fundamental things we have that, that no other fund has is sitting above it, our shareholders, the largest and best companies uh, in, the, in, in the country. And that provides a unique ability to create an uh, 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 ecosystem that really allows us to build businesses of scale. So what we are trying to do today is launch this idea of a CEO circle, getting all of the CEOs in our shareholder group to help commit to this process. Very simply put, to scale a company, you need funding. We have that um, in the SME fund and elsewhere um, in the environment. Uh, we need mentoring and we need access to markets. If we can get all three of those to work very well, for the right companies, we believe we can scale. So let me say to you what we're trying to do. What we're trying to do is create a system where if we come across a great company, and we're going to define that uh, in, in a moment, that has potential to scale. What we would like to do is, if they need funding, it's in that ecosystem. But we would like to bring them to our shareholders, match the appropriate company, the appropriate set of shareholder companies, um, and ask the CEO to commit to helping to promote that organization in their supply chain. This is not a contractual obligation. It's not a, if they don't meet the standards, that's fine. So these have to be great companies. But simply asking a top-down referral from our shareholders into, into these big corporates. We would like to siphon through many companies through a, a process. Those that meet this kind of stamp of approval, we'd like to then bring to our shareholders and ask them to promote and support and see if we can, if we can get traction in, in that process. We've been speaking to a number of CEOs. I've spoken to uh, 10 top CEOs who really have given their absolute commitment to this. I'm really asking today that you do the same as CEOs of companies. It's not a contractual obligation, it's, not, it's, it's a commitment in a sense for national service. We have to build 10 great companies um, if we can. We've done a lot of work on the search and selection, so we're not going to bring forward companies that don't meet standards. We're working very closely with Endeavour. I think they are the gold standard about search and selection and understanding the space. So crudely, uh, our criteria we've set are companies that are already successful, 20% growth rate per year for five years, annual turnover of at least 50 million. We hope, we're not saying these are absolutely cast in stone, but we're trying to create some kind of uh, relevant framework. My ask today is to help us build this ecosystem. We want to move very, very quickly. What we would like by the 12th of April, so just in a few weeks' time, is a list from, from you as to in your supply chain who do you think would meet those criteria? Just give them to us so we can now start working with them. <coughs> by the third quarter, we'd like to get the mentor process in place in the correct companies. Uh, and by the third quarter, we're going to start approaching, hopefully with your support, procurement officers in the companies to help us actually promote and get these companies to scale. We'll see how this thing plays out. It's going to have a number of cycles. We'll go through them. We're not suggesting hundreds of companies. A small handful carefully chosen. And we're hoping in that process we can generate 10 black companies of real scale. With this initiative, we are indeed uh, in, a, in, in, a, in a good space. But what I also appreciate is the fact that you're seeking to create a broader ecosystem. And this is where we would like companies to, to come to the party through their value chains, their procurement systems, because this is where we open up the economy for new participants, participants who are able, by the way, who will have been tried and tested through the rigorous system that this initiative is going to be able to yield. And that's exactly where we're then able to get companies that were previously prevented from getting into various procurement spaces, value chain spaces, to get involved.